I'm Kelly Warner. During cancer treatment, even the littlest things can bring patients comfort. For many patients at Willamette Valley Cancer Institute, that source of comfort was a horse named Blondie. So when the Cancer Center recently made some changes, one patient was determined to make sure they could all see Blondie again. Julie Beckett adores her horse Blondie. I fell in love with her uh, as a baby and she was my dream horse. Blondie, an American quarter horse and a show horse for more than a decade, helped comfort Julie through some tough times growing up. She's been in my life for, for just over 20 years now and uh, you, don't, you don't really get a relationship like that. I mean, even people, I mean, she's, she's been my rock for, for a long time. What Julie didn't know is that Blondie brought comfort to a lot of people. Patients at Willamette Valley Cancer Institute who watched the horse every day from these fifth floor windows while they received treatment. Every time that we were in there, we were, we had the joy of this horse to watch. And she brought us comfort and she brought us love and she brought us inspiration. But when Willamette Valley Cancer Institute closed its Riverbend Clinic, the view for patients changed. When we found out we were consolidating last year, all I heard from staff was, what about Blondie? We need a picture of Blondie. And everybody was quite distressed about uh, not being able to see her every day. Oncology nurse manager Janie Connor and patient Sherry Norman set out to change that. They recently invited Julie and her family to WVCI for a very special event. That's my and girl. that's our Blondie. <laughs> Blondie's photo now hangs on the wall of the infusion room at WVCI's Eugene Clinic, so patients who've missed this sweet horse can see her once again. It was overwhelming. Um, the, the picture captures her just, just as she is, um, just as they've seen her. The reality of it is there were thousands of people that sat out that window, thousands of people. Some people are no longer with us but Blondie is still a part of that family. When we got here, we needed, we needed to have her. We needed to have her, we needed to make that happen, so. And you did. Here she is. The photo was unveiled on Blondie's 21st birthday. Happy birthday to you. So a song seemed appropriate. To you. Happy birthday, dear Blondie. Celebrating a horse who's given so much, just by simply being a horse. In addition to the photo of Blondie that now hangs in the Cancer Center, Dot Dotson's in Eugene donated a framed keepsake photo of the horse for Julie, and the Springfield Fred Meyer donated carnations that were handed out to patients throughout the day. I'm Kelly Warner.